Good morning, everybody. This morning, we got to find what we're going to wear because, woohoo, we are going to the thrift store. Yippee, yippee. So I just woke up, as you can tell, and we're going to figure out what we're going to wear. Now, let's see. Here is our options. We got pink sweatshirts. We got black sweatshirts. We got red sweatshirts. Oh, we got brown sweatshirts. We got green sweatshirts. <laughs> we have, oh, let's see. We have, that's about it, my friends. These are our color choices. As you know, I'm known for my signature sweatshirts. Well, since we're going out in public, we want to wear a nice sweatshirt today. Okay, so let's see. I think it's kind of mild out, so I'm going to go with probably my black sweatshirt. So in just a moment, snap of the fingers, I'll be dressed and I'll get ready and then we'll get going. Woohoo! me when you first wake up your eyes are so small <laughs> it takes me a while to get woken up or at least look like I'm woken up I am a morning person I surely am NOT a night person but I'm so excited to get out of the house and to be able to go to the thrift store so when I go away I put makeup on but when I'm at home, I really don't wear makeup. So I have 15 minutes, 15 minutes until my daughter gets here. I think I'm going to go out and I'm going to sweep off the porch, do a little work until she gets here, and then we'll get going on our day's travels. Yahoo! And you're going to soon see why I enjoy immensely when I get to go out and be with my children and have a fun day. I believe we're at the end of January and I can be out in a sweatshirt. Amazing, amazing. I love this winter so far. done with that Whew. let me show you where I put my broom this brings back a lot of memories my grandma she used to have a hook at her house where she would hang her broom so I got that idea from a very very plain Mennonite grandma to have a hook at your house where you can hang your broom so it's not resting on the bristles All right, let's get going I gotta look in this thing. So this is what my son-in-law makes. It is neat. It's a deer blind, but isn't it neat? Oh, it's on the other side to the gate. Yeah. Wow, take a look. How cute is this? Huh? I need one to my shed sometime. Isn't that neat? I don't know how do you open it up. It's a gate. Oh, here it is. So this is the gate. There's the gate. There's the hinges. I know. 
Okay. I locked it though. Oh, it's unlatched. There's the latch. Isn't that neat? Oh, I'd love to have this. Guys, wouldn't this be great for my little house in the prairie videos? Oh man, I have got to get one of these. Gotta save up for one of these. This will be my shed. So there you go, everybody. This is what it looks like inside. This is absolutely adorable. everybody and what did I get this week at the thrift store it was so much fun I went to my post office we went to a discount grocery store we went to all kinds of places and then the thrift store oh my goodness people I had so much fun let me show you what I got first thing I got was it was free they had it with their pile of free things yes it's a basket we know where that's going now, don't we? I have a nail that needs a basket, and so we're going to hang it up in the out porch canning garage. All right, let me show you. I'm super duper duper excited, like always. But I did spend a little more money, and I'm trying to think. I think it was $9. I got two of these baskets for $2.50 each. Yes, I know that's high priced for me. but. One of these I'm going to use to collect my eggs. I thought it was cute, like a cute egg basket. And the other one I'll use it for fruit or all kinds of things like that. So I got them both. For 20 cents each, I got some of these napkins. So I got three of them. I was just saying last week I love this color. I like it in the blue and I like it in the maroon. And the red. The red's nice, too. Then I will show you what I got. All right, I'm going to give you a hint. Are you ready, everybody? Hello? Do you know what it is? <laughs> yep, I picked it up. You all are so sentimental. You thought it was so terrible I took the one and not the other. Well, now, my friends, the family is back together. And I realized you don't see it on this side. Or I could use confectioner sugar. Now, I really don't use confectioner sugar that much. I probably will put oatmeal in here. So, yes, everybody, I went and I got it. <laughs> then I got something really charming. Oh, I paid $2 for this. I think it was two dollars yeah it wasn't on sale this week I should have got it last week so this was charming and it was two dollars my teacup I'm going to start getting into drinking tea I'm gonna try it I'm not such a tea drinker but isn't it pretty very old school very old school Last but not least, I got some of these for 25 cents. They're spice jars, but I thought they were adorable because they look old world. So I'm going to use these for some of my spices. I'll probably take the old labels off, but for 25 cents, I can use them. And I'll be glad to have them in my kitchen. So they're... I got four of them. As you know, I keep bulk food in my pantry, my one pantry. So what I'll just do is fill up these little jars, and that way it's in my kitchen and it's not making such a bulky mess because it's really hard to have the big half-gallon jars in the kitchen because the kitchen gets full. 
So I hope you liked what I got this week at the Thrifty Thursday. I hope you enjoyed seeing what my son-in-law made. I think it's just fascinating, and I'm hoping maybe he'll make me one, but not for deer hunting. I thought maybe he'd make me one to do some videos in it. I think it'd be so cute to have my kitchen in there in the summer and cook out in it. So we're hoping. Anyhow, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to share with you the rest of my day. Take care, everyone. Bye. A lot of you have been asking about if there's any more information about my blood mother and the bloodline of mine because I didn't know anything. A dear and special subscriber named Amber put together a book. You would not believe what she's done. Now there was three of you who done a lot for me and I really want to thank you guys so much all the hours you spent. Amber went a step further and put a book together for me. Hundreds of pages talking about my bloodline sharing photos, even writing to me and helping me understand. This person went way beyond anything I'd ever would dream and I really want to thank you Amber for doing this for me. Words can't express what you've done and she broke it up between my mother's side and my father's side and she has all kinds of little notes here explaining to me everything. And she's given me a gift and those of you who searched for me I really want to thank you. You've given me a gift that money will never be able to buy. You've given me a home. You've given me some sense of belonging and you've given me a sense of where I came from. We all know where I'm going but sometimes in life it's it's neat to know where did you come from. Thank you guys so much for that. Friends, it's been a good day. I'll tell you what, I'm really really tired. We still have snow on the ground and it's really icy, so I have to be careful how I walk. But every night I have to put my chickens to bed. And I enjoy this little walk from the house to the chicken house because oh, I get to breathe in that fresh air and I get to think about the day. And these days, by 8 o'clock, I'm tired. I've moved my videos from 8 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time every single day. So that gives me an hour where I can check on the channel and I can comment people back. But I like going to bed early. A lot of times people ask me, how in the world can I go to bed so early? Well, I try to get about 9 to 10 hours of sleep a day. Because that really makes a difference in my life. As you're beginning to see, I have a video. As you're beginning to see, I have a video every single day. So you can see I keep really active and I have a lot of work to do. But what you don't see is the countless hours of work I do when the video is not on and when the camera is turned off. Having a YouTube channel is a full-time job and having a video every single day that makes it a double full-time job. Video, editing the video, uploading the video and then doing all of my housework. It's quite a challenge. But I really like it. It gives me purpose. And I really enjoy spending the time with my friends. Now, so if you like my Thrifty Thursdays, which I know you do, check out the playlist below. It's all of my Thrifty Thursdays in one. I got some really interesting items, and I hope that you get it. check them out because they're quite fun.